You're sitting here telling me that the reason why you said that Alonzo, you didn't want to be in New Orleans yes. and that, you know what, he ain't going anywhere. He'll right. never get traded from the Lakers. Yes. Is because you wanted him traded from the Lakers? Exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Well, this is kind of a sad video. Um, but it's one we have to do. Um, Lonzo Ball is not Lonzo Ball is not on the Lakers anymore. And that is a really, I know you guys saw me mention in my other video, but that is a really conflicting thing for me. Like, Lonzo Ball, like, has always been one of the realest NBA players I know. He's never gotten on, like, some weird shit when he started getting more famous. Like, he's always been the same. Like, we've been watching him since, like, sophomore year. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I know... I've seen the whole journey and I know how bad he wanted to be on the Lakers and how crazy it is that the Lakers somehow got the second pick and he ended up on the team number two like it was literally a dream come true for real for real and like it sucks that at this second year they got rid of him and here's the thing this is what sucks about it this is why I'm so conflicted because I am a LeBron fan before anything right so, the LeBron fan in me is overjoyed that we got Anthony Davis. And the LeBron fan in me would give up Blinds of Ball to get Anthony Davis probably every time. And that's just real. Like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that's just real. I pretty much give up anybody in the league to get Anthony Davis so that LeBron could have a better chance of winning. You know what I mean? Like, there's not too many people I wouldn't. So, like, yeah. Um, but I don't want to see him on the pellet. Everybody is so happy to see him on the Pelicans. Like, oh, love the ball with Zion. One of the best teams he going to play on is New Orleans. Great. With him at the one, Aaron at the two, Ingram at the three, Zion at the four, Ingram and with the Julius at the five. You get my boy them running teams like that, we're going to run loose. Did and you feel like alley -oops. I mean, yeah, that sounds cool, but I don't want to see him on the – Who? Why? how can y'all want to see him on the – I don't want to see him on the Pelicans, bro. Send him to, like – the box or like the nuggets or you know what I'm saying? Send him somewhere where this can be some boy can be fun and entertaining. I don't want to see him. I don't I don't personally want to see him on the Pelicans. Anyways, um Lonzo's not on the Lakers anymore. Neither is Brandon Ingram and Josh Hart, but they don't really matter. <laughs> but anyways, this is the best highlights from all of those guys, mainly Lonzo. Best highlights from them while on the Lakers. We have to watch this video because this is the last time we'll ever see Lonzo in the Lakers jersey probably ever on this channel. So, you know what I mean? So, fuck. It sucks. It sucks. Anyways, let's get it started, man. Oh, man, let's get started. I want to say the Chicago Bulls were the champions last year. Ball punches it home. What is it too little? Oh, and you know, that? can I say one more around, thing about can I say one more thing about Lonzo? Should I pause the video? I can say why sure we. It's, it's I don't know if I don't. Rule? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Lonzo never played to his max potential on the Lakers. I don't know what it is, but I know that he can play more aggressive than he did while while he was on the Lakers. I don't know why he never played more aggressive. Like, I get that he's a passing first kind of LeBron point guard. But at the same time, Lonzo is capable of scoring 20 points a game, bro. Like, you can't, no one can tell me that Lonzo can't score 20 points a game if he wants to. Like, he could put up 20 a game. So I just, I just, I never understood why he never, why he never did that on the Lakers. Like, it never seemed like he was playing as aggressive as he could on the Lakers. Nice. Other than like a few games, you know what I mean? And as a Laker, I mean as a Lonzo super fan, and knowing that he is nastier than what he's doing, right? Like, that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> that was disgusting. That was absolutely filthy. <laughs> I was filming. <laughs> that was freaky as shit. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. I'm in the duffel then, kid. I'm in the duffy. I'm in the duffy then. 
<laughs> the bar had to go crazy on that one. The rebound by Bowen. And down court perfectly thrown to Ingram for two. But yeah, being the LeBron, I mean, the Lonzo super fan that I am, seeing him for so long, knowing how dominant he could really be, and then seeing him never be that dominant on the Lakers, I just want to know why. And I used to say that all the time when we were watching him. It's like, I know he can, like, bro, he can really do that all game on it. Like, he can really, <laughs> he got the size, the speed. Like, he can really go for 20 a game. Oh, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was the pressure of being in L.A. Or if he just sort of changed his game himself. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But hopefully while he's on the, the Pelicans, he plays more aggressive. Hopefully he plays more aggressive on the Pelicans. That would be good. Ball on the drive. Reversed it. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. With the left hand. We'll, we'll take that. Nice, nice and easy. Shot the three well. Five for 19, but got a couple of them tonight. Two for three. Who's a bad decision? Another thing. I don't think Lonzo gets enough. I don't think Lonzo gets enough credit for his maturity. Like, that nigga's like 19, but he, he be acting like he's LeBron age. Like, bro, he don't be, like, he never gets too emotional. Like, I guess that's just his personality to just, to be cool like that. But yeah, you would, you would think he's a lot, you think he's not 19 in that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, you think he's like 25 or something in that. <laughs> got upended, but gets an assist out of it because I love how this has been mainly lines of ball highlights to start off the video. I love that. <laughs> and it's blocked by Josh Hart. How about Josh Hart denying the slam dunk champion? Yeah, Josh Hart leaving the lake with me. So, I mean, I don't really I, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't even really care about Ingram either. I, I, I gotta be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the deal with Ingram is, but I don't really think. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like Ingram. I think Ingram is. I think he's People still think, think Ingram is gonna get better. I don't know. I don't know if Ingram will, will, will ever get better. I don't know how much Ingram cares. Like I question his um. He's passion. I don't know how much he really cares. Like it looks like he never really gives up out there. You know what I'm saying? It looks like he never really gives up. You know what I mean? <laughs> even right there, but you know what I mean? He doesn't even really care. Like, <laughs> like yeah, it's whatever. Like I hit it, yeah, it's like <laughs> season and in training camp, and he'll be ready every day. Hart put it on spin cycle. And Ingram and uh, Josh Hart both said something on Instagram. I thought that was funny. That's another thing when I'm talking about Lonzo's maturity. Lonzo ain't said a goddamn word. He ain't said a goddamn word. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's real. Good, good, good alley -oop. He's got some freaky ass alley -oops. Good Lord. <laughs> when you make him get up there, he'll get up there. But yeah, that maturity or just that personality of just like not needing to comment or show emotion on everything is like it's real crazy oh, baby, doing oh, that oh, 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 oh my whoa 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 I don't even think I've seen that one whoa 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 That was hot. I don't even think I seen that one. That was hot. He punched the hell out of that. Oh my lord. Where did he do all of this? <laughs> yeah, this is this is making me Oh my lord. This is this is pissed me off even more. This is not making me feel any better. Like this pissed me off even more than he's not in the squad. <laughs> But we had to get rid of it, man. That's what sucks, we had to. On the drive, Ingram can't hit it on the But if you would have asked me, like, yo, Kuz or Lonzo, who would you rather catch? I would rather have Lonzo. But I feel like teams would rather have Lonzo, too. Like, I feel like Lonzo has more value than the championship. 
That's why Cruz had to stay on the team. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but initially they offered the, they offered him Cruz too. And the Pelicans didn't want that. They wanted more draft picks in the future. Um, so they took Cruz off and then gave him more draft picks. He throws it down. Good extension. So they could have took anybody off. They could have took Lonzo off. But yeah, no, nah, they took Cruz off because Cruz... Out of lines with Cruz and Ingram, I guess Cruz is the least guy to low key. Low key. And why is Caldwell Pope still on the FET? Someone gave Caldwell Pope off the FET. I'm trying not to curse in this video, like I'm trying to be above that. But no, seriously, someone gave Caldwell Pope off the From one end to the other, he's off the touchdown. The Thunder held the Lakers to 7 25 shooting in the third quarter. Oh, look at Brandon Ingram extending. Okay, bro. And that's a glimpse yeah. of the future. Thank you, Julius Randle. Igniting with that defensive play. JC. Oh, look at Hart. Look at Hart. Well, Blakeney. I was just sizing that up. Yeah, he brought it right yeah, there. Yeah, Hart never really did it. He was just left hand. Look at that. I'm surprised they didn't make him give. I'm surprised the Pelicans didn't make him uh, give up Coos and then they would have kept Hart. Like, nah, nigga. You don't want Hart. Give us Coos. <laughs> It was Cruz, y'all keep up. I'm surprised they didn't say that. That's what I would have said. I would have been like, okay, this trade's cool. Not throwing Cruz, we all can have heart. <laughs> or maybe they did say that in the Lakers. Come on, come on. Come on. Lost 45. It's the worst Western Conference record, second worst in the NBA. Oh, look at Ingram. Take it up high and hammer it down hard. Good day, David. Collects the rebound. Brandon, who will play the Rising Stars Challenge of the All-Star Break. Yeah, I don't want to make it seem like I think Brandon Ingram is bad. That's the way you attack the real. Because I don't think he's bad. Signed a two-year, six and a half million dollar deal in July. I just don't think he's ever going to be as good as maybe he thought he was going to be. Good poke away by Hart. Gets it back from Roger. Here he goes. Throw it down. That's a good, a good pass, pass Lonzo. Gordon went on a switch. He lost it. Lonzo Tom Brady out there. James. Oh, beautiful touch pass. And Hart goes the rest. Kuzma on that pass to the cutting Hart. Bound to get better as the season goes on, barring injury. I've never bought all that acclamation. I remember I, Lonzo went and got big as hell to the like first season. The center was kind of small. He throws one down. A little undersized. First two this that nigga season. wouldn't put on 20 pounds of pure muscles. Hart all the way! <laughs> A two-hand flush! That boy was in the gym That time he busy. did the shuffle of the feet as he faked the defender. He saw the core was there. It. The Lakers need to express enough of that. Oh, he hit him with the head. Ingram should have went ahead and did the same thing. Here's Ingram spinning around. But that's, again, that's what I'm saying. I, don't, I question oh, Ingram's passion. Because the way the lines will go and hit a whole summer and put on 15 pounds. I don't think Ingram cares that much. <laughs> I, don't think, I, I, I don't know. I really don't. I just don't get that vibe that he cares. The league in Orlando, of course. What in Utah? Going to be taken by Ingram. Poor decision on the pass. Ingram all the way. Brandon! He dunks it home! They don't play a lot during the season at all. And they, games and they, they just go to Fast speed. Oh, that was that was nasty. That was pretty nasty. That was pretty nasty. Two for one opportunity. That was pretty disgusting. Thirty-two to go. Tried to I was just thinking about how the Lakers don't be giving these. Lakers don't really be giving nobody a chance. <laughs> Lakers give all of these dudes they draft two, maybe three years, and then they get them out of there. <laughs> We ain't really giving him out of that long. Like, yo, you got like two, three years to perform. Or we'll get rid of you, honestly. You got to shoot it, Brandon. On its way to beat the clock. They'll look at that. Yeah, English probably got the best jump shot out of Showed why they got him in the offseason. He showed his defensive strengths this year. Oh, Brandon goes to the other side and slam dunks at home. He can shoot the basketball. He's going to play a lot of minutes on this team. And, and for this team, nice move there by Brandon Ingram. Oh if my I'm the goodness. Pelicans, I would keep the number four pick wow. and draft Cam Reddish. Covington watches Ingram. Yeah, I would draft Cam Reddish with the fourth pick. I, I, see, I see that the Pelicans are like 
good trying good. to trade Four before run. we pick to somebody. By seven, largest we'll maybe Drew Holiday or something to pick somebody up right now. Ingram got all the way to the rim. But I'd probably but, keep it and get Cam. I think Cam Reddish is going to be disgusting. Blocked I do. By Ingram. There's that help defense. I think Cam Reddish is already as good as Brandon Ingram. Look at this. Bounce. Look at this. Bounce and throw it down, Brandon. See what happens. That could have been a three-point opportunity. Pelicans could potentially be good in the future. We'll see. Depends on how good Zion is made. Honestly, it all comes down to that. will be flying. If, Z if Zion's nasty, the Pelicans will be good because they got draft picks coming up for a while now. All right, Pogut. But if Zion's not nasty, like super nasty, dominant, LeBron, you know what I'm saying, great card, like just take over the game by himself, you know what I mean, something like that, then uh, the Pelicans will always just be decent, I think. He goes down the middle, Brandon, right down the middle. Again, a change of direction, goes a little bit of a high screen, then comes back. Board is Brandon Ingram with that man. Now to Lonzo, Lonzo, Ingram down the middle, he goes, oh, what a fake! I wonder if the Pelicans have told Zion that they're taking him with the first pick yet. Like, does he know that for sure? From the other side, He's got to know that. Side, <laughs> like, why even waste it a dot? You have to let him know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good job by Ingram pulling it back out. Now, don't waste the I said that RJ Barrett didn't even say he doesn't even want to try out for any other squad other than the Knicks. He's not even trying out for any other squad. So he just is confident that he's going to the Knicks. Like, what if the Knicks got number two and number three? I don't even know. Okay, Ingram. <laughs> That's the hype as I said to get on Brewer on glass. <laughs> for Giannis. Bledsoe nearly got to another one. Here comes Ingram to the Ooh. rim. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Okay, so Ingram's got some clips. He's got some clips. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks, man. It sucks. We had to get rid of him. It sucks. Lines are more than any of them. That really sucks. That's why we had to watch this video. You guys can leave your comments about Lonzo below. I'm gonna miss Lonzo in LA, man. I really am. I really am. Hopefully he can get on the Clippers or something. I don't even know. I don't even know. But I really don't like him in New Orleans. Like I'd rather, I don't know. We'll give it a try. We'll see what it looks like. But I don't think I'm gonna like it. But the NBA season coming up is gonna be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And there's still more moves that are about to happen. Like, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Check your boy out on Instagram. Check your boy out on Twitter. Um, I'm going to be dropping a full collection this week. I just have one more photo shoot I have to do tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, but I'll drop. I think I'll drop one more piece of my clothing by itself. Probably today or tomorrow. And then I dropped the full collection probably on like Thursday or Friday. Um, so, yeah, it's coming. It's coming very soon. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for all the support. Shout out to all of the new followers on Twitter and Instagram. I see y'all. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? No. Leave your comments about Lonzo below. That's really the only reason we watched this video was to talk about Lonzo. And, yeah, he's not on the Lakers anymore. Sucks. Sucks. Okay. I'm out here. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a tattoo today, so expect a tattoo vlog tomorrow. <laughs> Did you feel that way before they acquired Zion? Oh, yes. Stop I, lying. I Stop lying. I'm just that good. Stop lying. I'm that good. It's what? exactly what I wanted. Let's get I told him it was cold. I don't know if it's cold or hot over there in New Orleans. But I'll tell you one thing. They said, oh, you haters. Check this out. We got rid of Lonzo and LeVar. Guess what? I've been here before the Lakers. LeVar ain't going nowhere. Lonzo going to know them. But I'll still be in L.A.